let's make the center of that flower a little bit smaller. Because it's so big and beautiful, the center could be something that we get to as a bright point. So see, you can keep your, keep your point brush wet and keep pulling those darker colors forward. And make every single one of the petals make the paint come from the middle of that petal. Very good. Very good. Yeah, you can go ahead and bring them to a point in the middle. Very, very good. And bring this one in. Okay. Now let's dip that back in the water. And we're going to go with some yellow. You ready for some yellow? I'm going to show you something. We're going to do that puddle again. Just a little puddle. Now, take your brush, the point brush, dry it off. You can actually put the brush in the cloth and pull the brush through it. There you go. So you want it to be dry. Now let's get some of this yellow. Load that brush up with yellow. That's gold. This is a beige. It's a yellow beige, yellow ochre, gold. That's bright yellow, and that's a deeper sun yellow. So let's do the deeper sun yellow. There you go. Get a little bit more on the other side. All right. Now, I'll see how it's spreading around? Before you put the paint on, I'm going to show you something. This is a slow drip method where we let the water go wherever it wants. You actually pick up the canvas. And remember how we trained the water? We pulled the water over. So we're going to train it over a little bit more. There you go. Very good. Here, let me hold your brush real quick. Now you pick up the canvas and you make that puddle fall into each one. But don't let them fall past the petals. It gives it a nice wash on the canvas. That looks nice. Make sure it goes this way. So tip it that way. Okay. Now, you're going to take this and you're, I'm going to show you the, the motion on my canvas. Okay. So you're going to take the paint and you're going to do this. Fold it. Just kind of roll it right there. You're not prep brushing it. You're rolling it. So hold it to the side and just roll it towards you. Remember the motion I showed you with your fingers? So just put the brush down right there in the middle, in the middle, and just roll it with your fingers like I showed you. Very good. Perfect. Keep rolling it. There you go. You're not moving it, just rolling it in that one center area. Alright, now pick your brush up. Put your brush in the water. Now remember how we picked up the canvas and moved it around? So you're going to move basically that blop around. You can angle it deep angles like this. Is it moving? Do you think it needs a little bit more water? So we take just a little bit of a squirt. Here, you take it and just do a little squirt right there in the center. There you go. A little bit more right on the, ye on the yellow. Perfect. And move that around. See how it's moving? And it turns things a little bit of a green, doesn't it? You're doing good. See how that yellow is starting to slowly seep out? Remember to try and get it. Remember how I showed you to pull it? Just make little dents so that water pulls. So pull it, but don't pull the yellow, just the water. And keep pull it, turning it. Turn it so it goes down into the petals, but not thick. You just want the water to go down there so it turns it a little bit of a green. Come on. Is it moving down in there? Mm -hmm. Oh, it really is. It gives it almost a tie-dye effect sometimes. Don't you think? Keep an eye on it. You don't want it to go out of the petals. That's beautiful. Okay, you want to get your pointer brush again? 
remember to make sure all that, try and get all that yellow off. Tap it and then dry it. Try and dry it as best as you can. You want to dry it, let me show you something. You want to try and dry it when you really want to dry brush. You can pull it through the cloth like so. See how I did my fingers? The main reason is you don't want drips to come off of the metal part of the brush and drip down onto the paint because it might cause the effect that you don't want. Oh my goodness. Okay, destructive. 